Members of the 10th Parliament could be rendered jobless months before their five-year term ends if any Kenyan successfully petitions Chief Justice Dr. Willie Mutunga to trigger the constitutionally laid down process of dissolving Parliament. This is due to Parliament's failure to enact two laws that were due on February 27th this year. They are the County Government's Bill and the Public Financial Management Bill 2012. Attempts to extend the period of their passage have hit a snag, jolting the Constitutional Implementation Oversight Committee into a diplomatic offensive. And we agreed that on Tuesday next week we will have a kamukunji for all members of parliament to uh, ensure that by Wednesday we have the numbers to be able to expand time. Both those bills require uh, a motion to pass by two-thirds, by at least 148 members of parliament extending that timeline. CIOC has placed the blame on the executive's doorstep for failing to whip members of parliament to extend time for the passage of the two critical constitutional bills. The Grand Coalition Cabinet, that is ministers and their assistants, make up to 90 members of the August House. So if the executive was serious in the passage of the two bills, that is the county government's bill and the public finance management bill, they would only require to convince at least 58 backbenchers to have the laws passed. I did all that I can. I'm now waiting for members of parliament to tell me now we are ready to come to parliament. Otherwise, I've said I will, not do, any, I will not do anything more. We're I've done my there. job. If parliament is dissolved, I'll also be affected. The only lobbying you require is with your cabinet colleagues, if they can be available, because the backbenchers will always be there. So the ball is still in the court of the executive. There are four constitutional commissions that should have been in place by now. However, they are yet to be established as a result of the slow enactment of their enabling laws. They are the Teacher Service Commission, the National Police Service Commission, the Public Service Commission and the National Land Commission. Our opinion as a committee is that as we go closer to the elections, it is going to be more difficult to keep the implementation process uh, on, the, on the top banner. Within two years of the enactment of the Constitution, five bills should be passed by August 27th. However, so far none has been tabled in Parliament, less than two months to that deadline. The committee feels we are not doing very well as far as the, the pace of implementation is concerned. For now, Kenyans can head to the High Court, citing provisions of Article 261 of the Constitution, and engineer the process of sending members of the 10th Parliament packing if they don't get their act together and pass the requisite bills. Francis Gashuri, Citizen Live, at 9.